Today we're going to be learning about the order of operations. Use the order of operations to evaluate expressions. How does one remember the order of operations? There's a very useful phrase, and that is bed mass. B stands for brackets, E stands for exponents, the D and the M stands for division and multiplication in order from left to right, while the A and S represent addition and subtraction in order from left to right. In our first example, we want to evaluate 2 bracket 15 minus 18 bracket. Let's first identify the different operations that are present. First, we have a negative sign over here, so subtraction, and we also have something hidden over here. Remember, when you have a number in front of a pair of brackets, the operation there actually is multiplication. So let's re refer back to bed mass. So brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. According to bed mass, the very first thing we should look at is operations that are within the brackets. So let's draw our eye towards this, 15 subtract 18. Everything else stays the same. 15 subtract 18 is negative 3. If you're not sure about that, let me show you on a number line all the way over here. So let's put our 0 somewhere over here. We start with positive 15. We are subtracting 18 from 15, which means we are going further left on the number line. And we're going to end up somewhere over here, which will be negative 3. Let's zoom back in to our original question. Now we have two bracket negative three bracket. If you remember, when you have a number in front of a pair of brackets, you're going to use something called the distributive property. This two is going to be distributed to everything within the brackets. Therefore, you will have two times negative three. 2 times 3 is 6. Now let's take a look at the signs. You have a negative sign over here and you have no sign over here. But there is actually a positive sign hidden there. So when you have a positive number multiplied by a negative number, your answer is actually going to be negative. Therefore, our final answer is negative 6. Let me zoom back out to show you all the work that was required to do this question. In our next question, we have 7 minus 3 bracket 4 to the power of 2 plus 10 bracket. You'll notice that there are a lot of operations going on here. So let's break this down step by step. We're going to look at the more obvious operations. Here we have subtraction and here we have addition. As we've seen in previous questions, there is a number in front of a pair of brackets, and when you have that, that is multiplication. There's also a number up here, and if you saw our previous video on powers and exponents, you'll remember that that is an exponent. So 4 to the power of 2. Last but not least, we also have a pair of brackets that we must consider. Let's zoom out and make some space for ourselves. If you remember, the order of operations is best recalled with the phrase bed mass. What we want to do is we want to do whatever is in the brackets first. So we want to consider uh, the B. Now, once you look inside the brackets, you almost have to do bed mass again. So it's like you're having bed mass within bed mass. Now, within the brackets, we have two operations. We have addition and we have 
to the power of 2, which is an exponent. Okay. Now, according to bed mass, we are going to have to do the exponent first, and then we can go ahead and do our addition. So that is going to be our strategy. Let's go back over to the left and let's rewrite our question. So we are going to copy down whatever we are not touching. So if you haven't touched it, st it stays the same. So 7 minus 3 stays exactly the same. We're going to look within the brackets. First thing we're going to look at is the exponents. 4 to the power of 2. If you recall, 4 to the power of 2 is 4 times 4. If you want, I'm going to do the work over on the side here. 4 to the power of 2 is the same thing as 4 times 4. And you should know that 4 times 4 is 16. Therefore, 4 to the power of 2 is 16. We did not do anything to the plus 10, so the plus 10 stays exactly the same. In our next step, we're going to continue to look within the brackets. We are going to take 16 and add 10 to that. So let's go ahead and rewrite the stuff we did not touch. So 16 plus 10, that is 26. At this point, we're left with two operations. We're left with multiplication and subtraction. So according to bed mass, we are going to be doing multiplication first, and then we're going to be doing subtraction. So let's make a little mark to help us remember what our strategy is going to be. So multiplication first, then subtraction. If you remember from our previous videos, when you have a number in front of a pair of brackets, you use something called the distributive property. So everything within those brackets are multiplied by the number that comes in front of the brackets. This is a pretty easy calculation, so I'm not going to write out the steps. 3 multiplied by 26, you can throw that into your calculator, you will get 78, okay? Again, if you didn't touch the signs or numbers, they stay exactly the same. Don't go changing them randomly. Now at this point, you're going to take 7 and you're going to subtract 78. A lot of students might get confused with this, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a number line for you. So there is our number line. Let's put 0 somewhere over here. We actually start with positive 7. What we're doing to positive 7 is we're subtracting 78, which means we're going further to the left on the number line. If you were to count out 78 steps to the left, you would end up at negative 71. Therefore, 7 subtract 78 is negative 71. If you can do this in your head, that's great. If you need to use a calculator, you can as well, but always double check with the number line to make sure your answer is correct. In our last question, we have two to the power of three, subtract four, bracket five plus one, bracket to the power of two. Let's first identify all the operations that are present. Here we have exponents, here we have subtraction, over here, we have a number in front of a pair of brackets. As I've mentioned numerous times, this is a multiplication. Within the brackets, we have addition, and outside the brackets, we have an exponent. Before we evaluate this question, let's go ahead and remind ourselves of our order of operations, which is bed mass. B stands for brackets, and as you can see, we have a pair of brackets. So let's do whatever is in the brackets first. Let's scroll out to make a little bit of space for ourselves. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous question, uh, when you look within the brackets, you almost have to do bed mass again. So you want to take a look at what operations are within the uh, brackets. Uh, over here, we actually only have uh, addition. So that is really uh, simple for us. So we are going to add those two numbers. Let's go ahead and do that 
on the left. So everything stays the same because we haven't touched them. And we are going to take five and add one to it, which is six. As you notice, um, everything again stays the same unless you manipulate it or you touched it. Okay, that's very important. For our next step, we want to tackle all the exponents. So we have two to the power of three, and we have uh, six in brackets to the power of two. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do that. So two to the power of three, I'm gonna write to work on the side. Two to the power of three actually is two times two times two. You can go ahead and do that in your head. Two times two is four, and then four times two is eight. So two to the power of three is eight. I'm going to make a little bit more space for myself for the work. Uh, we have six to the power of two. Six to the power of two is six times six, which is equal to 36. So our answer is 36 and you have to leave it uh, in brackets. Okay. Next, we're going to do multiplication. We have a number in front of a pair of brackets, which means we are going to use the distributive property. So that four is going to be distributed to everything within the brackets. And the operation is multiplication. Four times 36, if you can't do that in your head, go ahead and use a calculator. That turns out to be a hundred and 44, which leaves us eight subtract 44. That is our last operation of subtraction. Let's go ahead and use a number line. And I'm gonna do that on the side. Uh, you can use a calculator to solve this. If you don't have a calculator, you can also just use mental math uh, with the help of uh, a number line. And let's say zeros over here. We start with positive eight. We are going to subtract 144 from 8, which means we're moving further left on the number line. We are going to end up somewhere over here, and that is going to be 136. So negative 136, that is our answer. So we're going to simplify that. 8 subtract 144 is negative 136. And let's put a box around our final answer. 